Hi, this is Start 3D Modeling Channel. In this video, I will show you how to create such a solid in plasticity. It will be a very simple and easy way that you can also use to create other models. Okay, I will create a new file. And we will start by creating a square whose center will be at the origin of the coordinate system. I enter the dimensions of the square as 50 by 50 millimeters. Okay, now I will create another square. The center of this square will also be placed at the origin of the coordinate system and the dimensions will be 70 by 70. Now this square is selected, so I press the G key to activate the move command. I press the Z key to activate the movement along the Z axis. I enter 30 millimeters and press enter. Then enter again to confirm. Now this square is active, so I press the R key to activate rotation. I press the Z key to activate the rotation around the Z axis and enter 30 as the rotation angle. I press enter and enter again to confirm. I once again select the square drawing. I draw another square, placing its center on the Z axis and in the center of this larger square. OK. I missed it. I press escape and choose the square drawing again. I choose this point as the center point and enter 90 by 90 millimeters as the dimensions of this square. I press the G key to activate moving. Press Z to activate the movement along the Z axis and enter 30 to move it 30 millimeters up along the Z axis. I press enter to confirm. The square is selected. I press R to activate rotation. I press Z to activate the rotation around the Z axis and I enter 60 to specify the rotation angle around the Z axis. I press enter and enter twice to confirm. Next, I select the square drawing again. I place the center of the square here and enter 70 by 70 millimeters as the dimensions. Now I press G again, then Z, 30, and hit enter and enter again to confirm. And now we have something like this. I will show you how to create a solid based on such profiles. With the shift key, I select these profiles and press the L key to activate the loft command. This command creates a sweep through the profiles and we click OK. We have something like this. Now I will temporarily turn off the visibility of the flat geometries and this solid looks like this. If you want to create a solid with walls of a specified thickness based on this solid, select this face, choose the hollow command, and here specify the wall thickness to minus 2 millimeters, for example. You can do this by pressing the D key, entering minus 2, hit enter, and enter again to confirm. We have such a solid. Now I will turn off the visibility of this solid, turn on the visibility of all the flat geometries, and switch to point selection. With the shift key, I select these points. Press the B key to activate the fillet command and add some filleting to the corners. OK, we will do the same with the top square. With the shift key, I select the four corners. Press the B key and add some filleting. OK, I switch to area selection. With the shift key, I select these areas, press the L key and OK. We have such a solid. Now, based on this solid, we can also create a solid with walls of a specified thickness. We select this face, choose the hollow command, press the D key, minus 2, hit enter and enter again to confirm. We have such a solid, but let's create another variant. I will turn on the visibility of the flat geometry, switch to the point selection and add filleting to these corners as well. OK, I press the B key and add filleting here. OK, we also add filleting to these corners. OK, I press the B key and add filleting. OK, I switch to area selection. 
With the Shift key, I select the four areas, press the L key, and OK. Now we have such a solid. I turn off the visibility of flat geometries, select this face, choose the hollow command, press the D key, minus 2 to specify the wall thickness to the inside of the solid, and press Enter to confirm. This is how we can create such elements in plasticity. As you can see, it is very easy, and we can quickly create such models. We'll end here. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel, and now see how it looked on the 3D printer.